I was 18 on my first tour, 19 on my second tour. Came back to States, I had 10 months to do, and I thought, oh boy, I won't have to go back. Good old Navy put me on an escort carrier going back over, so I got three tours over there. William Paris spent three years, one month, and 27 days in the Navy. He's visiting his grandchildren in Virginia this weekend, and they brought him to pay his respects. Well, I always wanted to come back to the memorial, and uh, I got an opportunity, so it's, it's an honor. And it's an honor to all the people that lost their lives in Korea. Memorial Day is a day on which those who died in active military service are remembered. Takeda Owens brought her daughter Taylor and her son to the Korean Memorial Saturday, paying homage to their ancestors. I'm an Air Force veteran. Um, the history of our nation is important to us and the sacrifices that people have made are very important to us. It's extremely important to me to come out here, especially the Korean Memorial, because my grandfather was also a part of the military and he recently passed away passed away last year. And so I just it's it's really nice to like remember him. As veterans, families and young children took in the significance of the memorials in the nation's capital, some found themselves in tears. For Craig and his daughters, this weekend marks the unofficial start to summer. And as a professor, he's using this time to teach them the lesson of sacrifice. I've never been to the, the World War II memorial, so their great-grandfather fought in World War II, so, um, so we're, we're trying to, to understand as much as we can. We just Mr. Paris is approaching 90 years old. He's seen the nation at its best and worst. He's thankful to have had the opportunity to serve and for those who never made it home. Freedom is not free. Somebody has to pay the price. In Washington, Megan Rivers, WUSA 9.